it's summer in full blast. It is so hot here in the mother city, but we're hanging out with Ansi and she's about to teach you how to teach your dog a brand new trick. And today is all about the weight and release trick, which is not only a great trick for your dog to know, but also it can be seen as a good safety mechanism as well. Ansi, very nice to see you again. Hello. How hot is it today? Oh no, horrible. Oh, you know, you just want to sit back. <laughs> on the beach. Tan, you know, on the beach. This is but, a beach day. But yes, no, we are yeah. still working in a sense, kind of. But we're talking about the weight and release trick. But now I mentioned it could be a good safety mechanism as well. How so? Very definitely. Because if you're in the car and you've got your dog or your puppy in the car with you and you're just popping out to get something from a cafe or whatever and dog or puppy hops across and zaps out the door the minute you open it, oh, this yes. could be an absolute disaster. Um, also, you're walking your dog on leash and you're about to cross a road. It's nice to have a, a command that says wait. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, being That's the release, it. we can move now. Um, you're opening the door to visitors and guests and puppy or dog rushes out the door <laughs> and yeah. accosts them. So, you know, it'd be nice yeah. to have a command, just, wait. Just that command to wait. Yep, okay, wait. cool. So how do we teach our dogs? Now, first of all, we have Bobby and Bella waiting patiently over here, but we have a new little addition right here. Who's this? Well, we're going to start. This, this is Poppy. 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 Poppy's oh, a beagle. Poppy is beautiful. And Poppy's in my puppy class. <laughs> and Poppy is going to show you as a 14-week-old puppy, uh -huh. how you can already crack this in an early on stage in life. So, okay, so is it best to start, obviously, Oh, absolutely. Early. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. So, Poppykins. Hey, say Poppy. All right, Poppy, show us how to do Poppy it. Poppy, wait. Oh, wow, Poppy is clever. <laughs> Here you go. Okay, Poppy. Yeah, he's a good dog. All right. Yay. Now, how did you get it to okay, do that? Okay, so what we did for starters is we... Um, <laughs> <laughs> nice little snack, Poppy. Yeah. What we did for starters is we, first of all, you know, most things you can train from a positive point of view yes. where you literally are move over on the side. luring. Okay. Where you're luring the dog to sit and it's all positive. You're helping through the lure method. Yes. The weight, unfortunately, you can't come from that point of view. You have to come from the negative point. Okay. So what we do now is we ask, from the beginning, we ask for a weight. We put the bowl down. If Poppy moved, yeah. I would go, ah, uh, ah, uh, and consequence, bowl goes away. Okay. So Poppy would begin to understand that every time it started to move, he heard an ah, uh, ah, uh, which is a warning mm. to a consequence, which you'll start to know with repetitions. So he thinks, I can't move, but now how do I get the food? Exactly, I mean, and this is a challenge. Gonna, he's going to look up at me, and at that point, I'm going to say, okay. And then I'm going to walk away from the bowl. In the beginning, you'll notice, wait, I put the bowl between my feet. My body yeah. helps Poppy understand this is mine. Okay. What's their first language? Ah. Okay, I there. see. Okay, so we didn't. Uh, uh, that there was it a is. very Poppy, long, drawn out wait. wait. <laughs> um, so. Yeah. When I do the okay, I'm going to, my body language is going to let Poppy know, okay, he can have it. My body language, remember, yeah. body language is their first language. Okay, so body English language. English becomes their second language. All right. So my body helps Poppy understand. So, so, it's, so, it's, so you kind of start doing that and then you draw out these pauses yes, in between. Yes, for longer and longer and longer. For example, okay. if you hold on to Poppy, I'll take these Came wonderful cool. puppets out of here. And we'll do a demonstration. All right. So we've got Bella, Bob, sit, wait. Now they've got Bella, uh uh, wait. Hey, sit. <laughs> Good job. There we wait. go. Wait. So I'm going to walk around. I could even go to the kitchen and back and wait. Wow, look at that. Uh uh, wait. That is like. Okay. Get temptation, that. temptation, okay. deluxe, but they, so, wow. So down the Brilliant. line, you can, you can really stretch it out. You can probably let Poppy go now. There we go. <laughs> Auntie, thank you so much. I mean, this is a great idea, especially if you can just, you know, talk to your dog and say, wait, and it will listen. I mean, first of all, you look clever, and your dog looks clever as well. But a great tip nonetheless. Uh, Auntie, thank you so much for joining us this morning. So try it at home and let us uh, give us a shout to see uh, if you and your dog can actually manage this little very nifty trick at home. Right now, though, over to a story of a very inspirational young girl that's taking the fight against rhino poaching to new levels. Take, this, take a look.